War Room Nation, what's going on? Welcome to A Few Good Minutes in the War Room, brought to you by War Room Sports. Like I said, the month of July, we grinding, so we back at it again. And around the round table with me this evening, Dev, what's going on? No rapper can rap quite like I can. I take a muscle-bound man and put his face in the sand. Oh, yeah. How about that? Because, never mind, we'll get back to that later. But B. Austin, what's, what's going on? Sense. What's going on? The key to being a tough guy is not winning every fight, but not being scared of losing. Okay. You know, sage advice. Rest in peace to Ricky Baker. Listen, um... Ricky! <laughs> in this video, we want to talk about one of the top mulatto players in the NBA. That's Blake Griffin, because Blake Griffin is in the news, right? A lot of you people out there continue to call Blake Griffin soft, and he has some thoughts. I'm going to read you a quote from Blake Griffin. He said, I've never really worried about being called soft or people thinking I'm soft. If anybody wants to step and take that challenge, I'm more than happy. Off the court, because I don't want to get suspended. It's, it's, it's not something that I dwell on. I've never really had a problem with being soft. So Blake yeah! Griffin has put a challenge out there to the world. To the world, If you Craig, think he's soft, come see him. He said off the court. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't worried about no lawsuits. He ain't worried about no, you know, not, no criminal I never charges. Really Blake Griffin is worried about getting suspended. He's more scared of the league. I never now, really. I never hold on, really. hold on, hold on. Be Austin. I'm, hold on one second. Let me hear what Dev has to say about Blake Griffin and his challenge to the universe. Um, first of all, uh, make all I, I, I've points spoken. Points. I was spoken with a, a few people earlier who was thinking, you know, he may have been challenging people to a game or one on one or something. But I grew up in North Philly, so I kind of think a little differently. <laughs> to me, it looked My like he was time. asking anybody in the world who thinks he's soft if they want to shoot the fair one, he can shoot the fair one. That's how I read it. That's how I will continue to read it. That's how I think he meant it until they get him to backpedal off of his comments. Um, I, I think. I think he's too worried about that. If you want to prove it, you can prove it on the basketball court and not be, not do the things that everybody thinks that you do to be soft. If you don't care, just continue to do what you're doing. But he obviously is worried about it if he's going to say this in an interview. So, yeah, you know, I, if anybody want to shoot the fair one with Blake, yeah, you know and, and that that to me, to me, before I let B. Austin rock. That's what was funny about this. The first sentence is, I've never really worried about being called soft. So right. why the statement then, boss? Austin, <laughs> Austin. Why the statement, boss? <laughs> Yo, Austin, what's, what's good, man? How do you feel about Blake Griffin challenging oh. everybody on the universe? <laughs> so In the universe. what you're saying is he's challenging me. I mean, you know, if you, want, if, you? Want to, if, if you want to take it that way. If I were you, I'd take that muscle-bound man and put his face in the shape. If you want to take it that way, he challenged me stuff. B. Austin, decided, he called you a punk, B. Austin. That's what he there's a reason I decided to wear the Flyers cap. Some of y'all know what that means. Bullet Broad time. Street. Um, as you all, as you both have said, at the very, at, at its best, this is a paradox. At its worst, it's complete contradictory. Like, he's completely contradicting himself within the statement that he's making because those that are not worried do not make public statements for the world to read because they <laughs> want the world to know that they're tough when he's alone in his bathroom pause looking himself in the mirror he doesn't see a tough guy and uh, <laughs> I don't think that Zach Randolph saw a tough guy. I think, in fact, I think that Zach Randolph decided to test his metal and came up with like a bitch. I mean, and Yo, and, and awesome. I think that he's he's tough sensitive. guys. Tough guys don't drive keys, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Yo this is all stems from tough guys. guys. That tough Memphis guys. series, that Memphis series, he had a hard way, man. Tough and, you know. guys don't include keys in the dunk contest. Tough guys don't jump over the hood of the car and claim to have jumped over the car. Austin, tough guys have coitus with Kia's. Girls named Kia. <laughs> That's what tough guys do. <laughs> tough, guys, tough guys don't cry very much to the ref. Listen, man. He might be the toughest mulatto in the league. But listen, no, um, at the end of the day, he's out of, control. He's out of, he's out of control for this statement, man. And we're going to leave it at that. Let, let's see what the people have to say. What do you think about... Blake Griffin basically challenging you because if you're watching this video, he challenged you too because he said anybody, anywhere. Yeah, In the words of Doc Holliday, 
Hey, Blake, if you're listening, if you're watching, Johnny Ringo, I'm your huckleberry. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. We're going we to at Blake on this video, like, and see see if you want to take up B. Austin or whatever. Um, We're in the, the same way, day, man. At the end of the day, man, this joint sound like a mob beat interlude. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it sound should like have prodig got Prodigy to write that. Yeah, he should have got Prodigy to write these bars. <laughs> anyway, people out there, don't forget, rate, comment, and subscribe. Let us know how you feel about Blake Griffin calling you a punk, because that's what he did, basically. He called all y'all a punk. punk and do you, do you think he saw you. Do you think he should have made this statement, or, or how should he have handled himself with all the criticism? Do of you him think that himself? he should stop working on his jump shot and dribbling so much and actually go to the rack? <laughs> anyway, man. he should worry about the fact that his complexion shows that he gets beat up? Yo! All right, all right. I got to mute, I gotta mute B. Austin, man. Listen, man. It's been a few good minutes in the war room. It's time to get out of here. As we always say, don't accept mediocrity and be steadfast in the war Blake, against I'll ignorance. Fuck you up. <laughs> I see you jump so much. <laughs> what it is. The wait is the war room with five.